I uh, wanted to make an announcement video here about an off-grid seminar. I made a mention of this in one of my live streams and some people kind of responded to it, but didn't really get into a lot of details. Uh, wrote up the notes for it probably a little over a year ago and um, it's going to be 14 parts. So it would be a lot of work. If I do it, you know, five days a week, it's going to be basically nearly three weeks that it'll take me. Probably won't be able to do it every day. You know, we get a lot of snow here. Um, we've actually had about four feet of snow in the last month. Um, and I'll show you the proof of that here in a minute. But uh, um, it's going to be a huge amount of work. Uh, but I feel that it's a very important subject to get out there because technology is the way that the uh, Big Brother system is using to control people. And the best way to get away from that is the off-grid system, being self-reliant. And you can use off-grid technologies, by the way. Um, and I shouldn't say technologies, but D-technology, whatever you want to call it. You can use those things, actually, if you're on-grid. There are techniques that you can use. Uh, we did that a lot growing up. We had a wood stove. Um, we lived back in the woods, you know. We cooked on the wood stove. We did a lot of things when the power went out. And the power went out frequently when I was a boy. Um, so we got used to it and growing up we went to my uncle's cabin his hunting cabin and uh it was no electricity it was off grid so i knew how things worked and whatever else and got real familiar with outhouses at a young age um central america down in the jungles of costa rica and honduras not so much honduras wasn't really the jungles a small village that we stayed in again no electricity the off-grid thing learning how they do it there uh, been out west, Montana, northwest Montana. My brother had an, an off-grid uh, cabin that he built. So I've been around up in Alaska as well. I've been around, seen a lot of different off-grid things, studied it, read a lot of books on it. We've experimented for years with it. What you see here beside me, this is our old uh, school bus. We actually called it our scoochin, our school bus kitchen. We used it to cook in for about two years. And... Uh, I'll talk about that in this study too, but you can see there on the front how much snow we've been getting, and that's what just stays there. The rest falls off, you know, so. Um, but it's actually got solar on the top there. You can see where the wires are going in there through the window. Um, so there's a lot of things we've learned over the years, and I'd like to share those things. Uh, so just announcing that, I don't know when I'm going to get started. Of course, it'll be announced you know this day or whatever else but just wanted to put together a quick video to explain about it give me your thoughts what are your thoughts on the whole thing um you know it's the one thing it's a little bit stressful for me is is you know it's not exactly a ministry type of a thing i mean it's i'm going to be tying some scriptures into it but um you know i don't know we'll just have to see how the lord provides throughout the whole process because you know Looking at three weeks of work ahead of me and the possibility of there's no pay at all because I'm not monetized here on YouTube, that's been a big concern of mine. That's why I've not brought it out yet. I actually started to record it for an offline video. Um, in other words, bring it out on an external hard drive or some other kind of a thing um, like that. And it was just too much work. It, it's so much work. And so I'm thinking, well, if I do it live, that cuts out the editing process. It cuts out... The rendering on my computer and everything and i can just show pictures online and whatever else and tell personal experiences and go through all of my notes i've written um probably took me about two or three weeks to write the notes out for the thing i mean it was a it's going to be a big study cover a lot of different subjects and uh, like i said it'll be for anybody off gridders that are, that have a lot of experience you might learn some things um again i'm looking forward to hearing people's comments i might learn some things from you some good suggestions and things um, if you are even if you're living in the city someplace you can still learn what to do if the power goes out um, and a lot of the off-grid channels here on YouTube there are some real ones out there there's some guys that I watch and and yeah they know they've had the hunting camp experience you know and they, they understand they do it the right way um, and then there's some others that are just goofballs and you know, building huge mansions off-grid and how do we run a dishwasher off of solar power or something? <laughs> and you get these guys and they got, you know, uh, sleazy wives and whatever else and that's how they get their views. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, that's not off-grid. 
that's somebody that's, that's seeing a popular style of video, genre of video, and they're saying, hey, I can make money here by getting my wife to, you know, yeah, prostitute herself. That's not off-grid, okay? No, it's not. So I want to get out the information. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm a preacher first and foremost, but I've spent a lot of time in my life with a lot of other things other than just preaching. Um, you know, the, the disciples of Jesus were fishermen, and they were expert fishermen. Uh, Jesus was a carpenter for 30 years. So there's other things that you need to learn. I get young men and they write me, and Brother Brian, how do I go into ministry? Don't. Spend the, most of your life uh, doing different jobs and working this and whatever. I mean, I've, I've worked on a train as a cook. I've built boats. I've worked in wood turning, um, somewhat in furniture making. I've worked in cabinet making. Um, I worked in logging, the logging industry. I mean, I've done a lot of different things. I didn't really go into any kind of full-time ministry till I was about the time of, that Jesus was, about 30 years old. And I've learned a lot in that time. And I'd like to share some of that, you know, to just kind of encourage the young men out there. You need to learn some other things. Um, certainly, read the Bible, study the Bible. Absolutely. That's important. But uh, there's some things that you can learn, talents and skills that you can learn in life that will actually really sort of round out your knowledge of the, of the scriptures. It'll make more sense to you. And um, that's why the Lord didn't go into ministry right away. I mean, there's even God manifest in the flesh didn't say, yeah, I'm just a little boy, he's, you know, a little boy in the temple and he's asking the doctors of the law questions and whatever else. And they're just astounded at his knowledge. Well, why didn't he go into ministry right then? Because he was too young. Well, that's a big reason why I want to do the off-grid seminar, to encourage the young men out there. Um, hey, you need to learn some other things. You know, um, I am not just some kind of a YouTube preacher that doesn't know anything else. Okay, uh, and that's a nice thing too. I just have to say this. You know, different um, different people have you know attacked me over the years. Why don't you go out and get a job and everything else? Uh, well, um, why don't you? actually try to live in a cheap sustainable way oh that's right you can't well i can and so i'm able to save money where you people have to spend a huge amount of money and uh we can live dirt cheap where most people their cost of living is just astronomical and they're so deep in debt that they'll never get out of it um we're not that way and uh, that took a long time a lot of experience so i'd like to share that so like I said, just keep an eye out. It won't be for a little while yet. Um, maybe another week or two. I don't know. I have some sermons I need to do today. Um, had to cut my hair. Uh, done here without electricity. Um, battery power um, is what we did. But uh, that, I did my son's hair too. That's another whole other issue. But um, in terms of you don't need to go to a barber. It's another way to save money uh, for guys and if you're a a woman will just let your hair grow long like the bible says to do so um <laughs> a lot more i could say about that too in terms of hair care um for off critters or people that are on grid that want to do things more to make more sense so but we'll look forward to doing this thing and like i said i think it's very important to get it out and um but you know one thing i have to say and that is for security reasons, I have to be careful with some of what I say. You know, I'm not going to be like the idiot king there in the Old Testament that, you know, the king of Babylon comes along and this king of Israel and he's going, hey, come and look at all of our riches. Look at all the nice stuff, you know, that we have. I'm not doing that. You know, I see survival prepper guys on YouTube and they'll, you know, let me show you what I've stocked up. You know, and I just think, yeah. <laughs> duh. You know, let me show you my arsenal of guns and ammo. I'll show you everything I own. You know, and then those same guys will talk about, you know, uh, the corrupt government wants to register our guns. Well, you just showed everything you had. You kind of just did the job for them. You know, so, um, but yeah, we'll be doing the off-grid seminar thing coming up here. Um, so, I uh, would appreciate people praying about that and just saying, you know, about just the Lord helping me to do it. And, and uh, I hope that there's people that will be thankful for the time. And we'll donate to the ministry because there's no other way I'm going to make any money off of this. And, you know, 
three weeks worth of work. I don't know very many guys that would do three weeks worth of work and not have any income for that. So, but I do with these things out of charity. That's why I do it. All right. Uh, we've been out here. We've experimented. We've tried things. That was an experiment right there and it worked okay, but there were some big failures and I will share those. All right. We do a lot of experimentation. Um, so, but that is going to be it. And, uh, Please do keep us in your prayers, and we will see you when the off-grid seminar comes out. And um, till then, stay in, stay in the Word of God, and uh, stay strong. That's going to be it.